the RBA obviously is supposed to be independent. We've seen greater focus, greater political focus, I guess, on central banks in this environment of, you know, cost of living crises and the such. Is that what's happening now? It appears to be, and it is very unusual, as you say. Uh, normally, uh, the independence of the bank is respected by lawmakers and MPs, and when questions like this come up, they're normally batted away. Oh, the RBA is independent, such and such. But this time is different. We've now got four government MPs openly questioning the, the RBA and Phil Lowe, uh, saying that the data the RBA is using is outmoded and outdated, not only fails to take into effect uh, the lagging impact of the rate increases we've seen so far, but not just the mortgage cliff either, but also landlords passing on these increases to renters as well. And a lot of Australians, the majority in fact, do rent. Another MP is pointing to some of the comments Phil Lowe has made in the past outside of the board meetings, uh, particularly notoriously in late 2021 when he said rates aren't going to increase until 2024. Well, anyone who took him at his word uh, with 325 basis points higher later on and now uh, they're suffering as well. Uh, there is a review into the Reserve Bank currently underway. The Treasurer Jim Chalmers is going to get that next month and he says when he does, as you say, he's keeping an open mind in terms of whether Phil Lowe's term gets extended or not. That term does expire in September as two predecessors got three-year extensions but politically speaking it's looking mighty tempting, very expedient to scapegoat Phil Lowe for all this economic pain right now. Yeah, given all of the pressure, does Phil Lowe even want to stay as governor at this point? Well, that's a good question too, and he was asked, uh, Bloomberg put this to the RBA yesterday and got no comment, but we were directed to previous comments where Phil Lowe has said uh, he'd like to stay on, but he's also said he would understand uh, if he didn't get that three-year extension to his term. What else is unusual is the radio silence we've had from the Reserve Bank of Australia. Typically they kick off the year, uh, or Phil Lowe would, with a speech to the National Press Club. Uh, that's not happening this year. His first appearance uh, isn't going to be until February the 17th uh, to the House of Representatives and by the time that happens it will have been two months uh, since we've heard from Phil Lowe uh, in a first official appearance. He's now also got a TV cameraman permanently stationed outside of his house. He gets trailed by photographers wherever he goes so the heat in the kitchen getting pretty hot for the Reserve Bank Governor. Uh, Friday we're going to get uh, the statement of monetary policy. We'll get some updated uh, growth and inflation reports uh, so that is uh, definitely going to be some interesting data to watch out for.